Battery is an exciting collective of 14 organisations that have come together to create a project about transport and it is a project that is about transport, connectivity within transport and reducing CO2 emissions in transport. The EU Renewable Energy Directive has within it targets for a 20% increase in energy efficiency by 2020, a 20% reduction in carbon dioxide emissions by 2020 and also 20% uh, use of renewable energy by 2020. But within those 2020-20 targets, uh, there is also a requirement for 10% use of renewable energy in transportation. And that's a very difficult target for, the, for policymakers to achieve. How battery works? First, we make a state of the art, so we analyze what does exist. Then we go to see and we ask local authority what are they thinking about this problem, what are they doing, what do they imagine, what is their strategy in the future for the next, few, next five years. So all the development done on battery is based on first reality and we take the opinion of who is making the decision today. Battery is going to first of all uh, produce guideline policy documents that are designed to help councillors and uh, local members of local administrations, people who are in policy making and also people in the transport sector. Uh, those guideline policy booklets are designed to help them understand better what are alternative fuels, how are they going to evolve and how can people make the shift. The main problem is to go from one train to the plane to the taxi to, to make the interconnectivity, interjunction between all the networks. Without intermodality and seamless uh, transitions between modes of transport, people will continue to use the car. It, it is a transnational partnership which for the first time is going to create a transnational web-based web journey planning tool. Uh, the journey planning tool will allow you to plan a journey which is going to cross borders which doesn't exist at the moment. So the e-journey planning tool will allow you members of the population to use technology to find out where the electricity charging points are for example, how to get from somewhere in Northern Ireland to somewhere in Portugal uh, using different types of transport and different fuels along the way. There are participating companies from the private and from the public sector, the academic. Uh, so we have different points of view that I think that are complementary and fits very well for the uh, targets of a project because there are people more focused on transport, more focused on electric vehicles, more focused on renewable energies. The people who should be interested in battery and in what it's doing and what its outputs are going to be are, for example, anyone that's involved in the transport industry, be it in fleet management or the car industry or car sales. Also, anyone who's involved in transport administration. So, for example, someone who's involved with a local bus company or uh, you know, public transport. Uh, and then thirdly, anyone who's involved in policy making uh, local administration, regional administration when it comes to transport because the outputs of the project should be of relevance to all of those different uh, groups of stakeholders. Being involved in the European project empowers you to administer and facilitate debate on this, on this area, to focus minds um, to the issue of, of, of alternative fuels, to 
present to certain organisations who wouldn't necessarily have thought before about alternative fuels. Look, this is an alternative way, uh, this is something that we should maybe should be looking at. Credibility is incredibly important when, when it comes to speaking to decision makers and governments. And it's the same at any level. If you're sitting on a small island and you're trying to tell someone something, they always tend to listen to you, maybe with only one ear, but the minute you bring in outsiders to tell the same story, they suddenly sit up and take notice. is not the aim of the project to find a, a solution, a miracle. It is essentially to provide a, a, a crucial information uh, that will be used at, or that can be used by the local authorities or any kind of authorities to define strategies. The public know that they need to make a move from fossil fuel based transport to alternative fuel based transport. They're not quite sure how to make that move. They're not sure which of the fuels that are going to come forward. If they buy an electric car, what happens if hydrogen comes forward in the next two or three years? Have they made a mistake? So there are all sorts of issues in there. So we want to help reduce CO2 emissions. We want to help national and regional government. And we want to help people. Collectively, we want to help them all to have an impact on climate change and on our future.